This video is done to discuss the guidelines on the control of chemicals hazardous to health. The focus of the video will be on the following three aspects. Categories of hazardous chemicals are as follows. These are the effect of hazardous chemicals on human. Now, we'll look at the guidelines on the control of hazardous chemicals based on OSHA Act 514. These are the regulations under OSHA Act 514. The four principles that relate to the method to control hazards are as follows. The practicality of guidelines depends on four factors. Number one. Number two. Number three. And the last one. Now at part three, we will explore the control measures under regulation 15. This will be the hierarchy of hazard control. In part three of this video, we will look at the elimination process first. Hazard substitution is a hazard control strategy in which a material or process is replaced with another that is less hazardous. The isolation process is simply removing the source of hazard exposure from the worker's environment. Engineering controls are a very reliable way to control worker exposures as long as the controls are designed, used and maintained properly. Safe work practices are generally written methods outlining how to perform a task with minimum risk to people. Personal protective equipment is the equipment that will protect the user against health or safety risks at work. The employees must choose the right equipment based on the work they are dealing with, as follows. Local exhaust ventilation system can be used to remove the chemical contaminants from air. These are the ways to control the exposure to carcinogens. The other control measures are, warning sign, monitoring, health surveillance program, labeling and relabeling information instruction and training. That's all from us. Thanks for watching.